So hello my dear brothers and in this brand new video guys we're going to check Kaiser Redux in 2023. Cause as you can see in the recent changes in 2023 we got like a ton of updates. Meanwhile Kaiser Rec was updated for one or two times and they added not a lot of content. So if you didn't play Kaiser Redux for like six months you're going to see a ton of new stuff and crazy things. With that being said, let's start our campaign and as always, enjoy Kaiser Redux version, Albanian. Now let's have a lot of fun. Also let's take a look on ideologies at the beginning of our campaign, so most of the countries, as we see, they are non-radicals, they are just uh, liberal right or uh, liberal left. Of course, except the third international and some other funny countries such as Bharatiya Kamun and... Patagonian Workers Front. But other boys, they are just funny. Looks like that we've got a black China, as well as black Far East. And don't forget boys, that you can become a member of my channel. So we've got different offers with different payment. And I'll appreciate your membership a lot, cause it will help me to earn more money and it will help me to make my content better, to buy new stuff, to just make my life better, you know? So. I'll appreciate that a lot. Looks like that we've got a military coup in Russia cause they didn't make a snap elections, so now we've got Kornilov in power of Russia. Let's see what will happen next. Um, Ukraine is fucked. First of all, Crimea has separated from them, but somehow Ukraine has saved Sevastopol. And the second thing, I don't know why, but German Empire has declared war on them, so yeah. Goodbye Ukraine, you was a good dude. Holy fucking shit, what we even got in this campaign? Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth in 1936. And now they can even eat Ukraine and restore it in the original borders. With this kind of Austria, I've got only one question. Where the fuck is my Austrian painter? Is that a comeback of 18th century? Cause look at this. Russian Empire, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, Crimea, independent Crimea. I don't know, no, now we just need to have the Great Ottoman Empire and yeah, it's going to be 18th century. Looks like that, now we've got a uh, pro-German Ukraine with Danilo Skarapatsky. I, I, I don't know boys, can this campaign become even better, cause now we've got Crimean Soviet Republic with Dmitry Ulyanov or Dmitry Lenin. He is a real one, Lenin's brother. And Lenin is so young again and young October is ahead. <clears throat> Third Mexican Empire and woman is in power of it. Boys, I understood that Third International is going to win this campaign in any way and with any conditions because Liberia has joined the Third International. Holy shit, they've got a totalist rule with the man that has cigarette between his teeth, but he doesn't even smoke it. This smile is a true one Sigma. So he restrains himself from smoking on the video and you didn't even put the like on this video. So right now go and put the like on this video for this great man. George po Podmore. Yeah, George Podmore. Ain't no way. Bro is the real fan of the Austrian painter. Brazil is totally fucked. The situation in the United States is catastrophic. So Cindy's are pushing them more and more right to the Washington DC and soon they're going to capture this city. I actually bet that Cindy's are going to win the civil war cause they've got a good positions, they got a good army, they made uh, good reforms, so on and they still have a peace with the American Union state. So their positions are one of the best here. Yeah, we'll check this out, bro is acting like he controls the whole Ural Mountains, but in fact he controls only the southern part. Oh shit, I didn't see that scene. So New York City is independent and it's ruled by the Social Democrats. Man, I don't know who are you, but I don't trust you. Typical, fake, American, smile. Now we can decide who is better. This old man in the New England, who is smoking cigar, or this based African man. So, Brudas, tell me in the comments below, who do you support more? A based man from New England or a Giga Chat from the Liberia? 
ain't no way, bro wanted to visit Geneva so much, so he has annexed it. Holy moly, black socialist republic with totalists. I, 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 I don't know what can make this campaign even, even better, because I didn't see that scene at all. By the way, the Soviet Crimea is moving forward to build Crimean communism. Crimean communism. It's even better than the socialism with the Chinese specific. Just imagine the wonderful Crimean communism. Yalta, Sevastopol, best places to rest in the post-Soviet Union. Um, uh, why the fuck did Mongolian cannate Mongolians? Freaking Mongolians joined the soul slavery sphere of Japan. Jesus Christ, you're fucking strange. Everything in this modification is fucking strange. <clears throat> Do I even need to react on that? Alaska, Israel. <sighs> First, you've got Alaska, Israel. Second, you've got Third Mexican Empire. Fourth, you've got Black Socialist Republic. Fifth, you've got Liberia, strange Liberia. The next scene is the Soviet Crimea with Lenin. Russians with military dictatorship. Oh wait, it's a normal scene. But still, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth in 20th century. Oh well, I love you, Casey Redux. And don't forget about him, as well as him, Labor Zionists of Alaska. No comments, just no comments. So it's July 1938 and the Second World Crack has officially started with Russian try to capture Finland, but Finland is in the Reich's pact, so you understand the consequences of it all and everything that will happen in the future. Well, Russians are in the city sh city shitty situation, so I don't think that they will win this war, cause just look at their army, look at their positions in the Central Asia, at the Don region, and you think that they can destroy even Ukraine or White Rutinia or Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth? We are not even talking about the German Empire. So I guess that Russians are fucked. Well, at least before the Commune of France and their allies join this war. Because if they join and they will be successful, well, the Germans are fucked. Cause conquering Russia it's a huge mess. 15th of November 1938, the Commune of France declared war on the German Empire, so we wish luck to the Swiss Federation to take back their lands. Cause we don't support any anti-Swiss actions. Uh, by the way, you can see that Russian front line has totally collapsed. So we've got an enclave in Petrograd and the other um, the other sides of the front line uh, has collapsed too. And Romania doesn't have enough forces to capitulate Ukraine, so the situation for Russians is catastrophic. But still, they have defeated the Central Asia, so maybe something will change in the future. Now Romanians and Serbians are going to be fucked, cause Bulgaria has joined the Reich's pact, so they will not only take back their own lands, but they will capitulate Romania too. So their frontline in Ukraine is going to collapse too. So that's the full defeat of Russia. And now we see the final step to destroy Russia. So East Siberian Federation started marching to the west. Now it can get even worse because they have declared war on Mongolians who are in the so slavery sphere and now well they really got no like O oh, chances to survive through this because now everyone is against Russians. So when I said one since can get even worse for Russians, I forgot about Ottoman Empire. So, this North Caucasian Imamate has joined the Istanbul Pact with Afghanistan too, and now Russians are fighting against Ottomans too. Now that's not even funny, cause just look at the size and amount of their enemies around the world. Bro can't even understand who is he fighting with. Finally, Lenin has joined this mess too, so he declared war on the Cuban People's Republic, but now he's fighting against the whole race pact. And I wish luck for that dude, cause 
Lenin is based. Wait a second. How did you get that from the National Republic of France? Bro wants to get back the African positions. <sighs> Rest in peace, Black Socialist Republic, which was destroyed by the racists. Ain't no way racists won this war. So right now and in the nearest future, combined syndicates are going to own the top G lands of the United States, and that's going to be the main reason why uh, they are going to win, because main industry is located here, main uh, manpower is located here, everything is located here. The only thing that they don't have right now is Gold's Gym California. But I guess that they will own it pretty soon, probably in 1941 or in 1942. So the first major player is out and it's only July 1939. Yeah, now Japan controls a good chunk of the Russia. It is so based. It is so freaking based. So now we've got two countries with a similar color, but Siberia is a puppet of the Japanese empire and this bro is just independent. Japanese so slavery sphere moment. So we've got in the Russia the rule of Senate and they are market liberals, but the most based moment of the Russian liberals. Market liberals, no elections. Russian liberals moment. And I guess that we will say goodbye to the comrade Lenin and his Soviet-based Crimea. W wait a second, so Ottomans have lost this war against the Cairo Axis and I Iran right now? And holy shit, we've got Kuban Black Sea Soviet Republic. So Lenin is alive. Th 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 this is not a joke. Lenin is alive. He he, he was destroyed back then in 1939, but but now he is alive again. I, I I don't even know how did this happen, but still, we've got Kuban Black Sea Soviet Republic, and maybe it's a comeback of the Lenin. Now those based Soviet wars about Lenin, they are not a joke. Lenin lived. Lenin lives, Lenin will live. For that moment, you should put like on that video, for real. Right now, put down the like on that video for that moment. Yo, check this out, bro is going to liberate Transcaucasia, so he will go and fight with the Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan. And just look at this mess on the Middle East and in the Central Asia. Oh, finally, I didn't see that moment, I just went away from my computer and then I came back and I saw this. This is finally happening. They fucked up those damn common arts and I, I guess that in the nearest future, like uh, next few months, uh, they are going to capitulate. Meanwhile, something strange is happening here and I don't know how it will all end up, but yeah, it's disgusting. Одним словом, преступление и наказание пришло в действие. Dostoevsky is a true love. China, you know, it's a little bit strange too, but I guess that Japanese Empire is going to totally fuck the Queen Imperial Authority as well as the whole Chinese alliance. This is a true one victory of the slavery sphere. And as you may see, Rex Pact is truly dominating the whole world. And Entente are losing their positions everywhere, even in Africa. They lost South Africa one day ago and now they are losing Canada. As well as India, of course. We've got a great news for my Hungarian brothers. So, boys, in this campaign, we've got a great Hungary. Finally. I haven't seen a great Hungary for a while, and now they finally got access to the sea and all territories that they needed to have. So, if you are Hungarian or you are the Bruder who love Hungarians, put the like on this video, or I will appeal the Treaty of 1920. And this buddy, he is actually restoring the Roman Empire. And that looks awful. Bro is acting like he is the owner of the Roman Empire. If we look at the world through ideologies, we can see that uh, Europe is mixed, so most of Europe are non-radicals left and right, but some parts of Europe are like radical right. Most of Africa is radical right, as well as South America. Meanwhile, we still have some some communist countries uh, such as Paratia Commune, Nepal and uh, combined syndicates of America which can't destroy Pacific states of America. And on the world map we can see that Rex Packet is totally dominating the whole Europe, Africa and some parts of the Central America. But South America is dominated by the Entente as well as Northern America 
and Far East is dominated by the Japanese. Such a wonderful modification with such a wonderful scenario.